Hi everyone! So today I'm going to show you the things I'm using for this miniature before I start. Uh, so here I have a box. This box is going to be our cabinet. I will fill it with shelves. Upon the shelves I'm going to place many different objects. Um, spooky, magic, all kinds of potions and magic charms and books and scrolls because I want it to look like a witch's uh, cabinet. So here I have a small blueprint, how it will look. As you can see, shelves are not even. I will create three focal points uh, that will contain the most distinct uh, objects. Now to fill it, I'm going to use things inside this box. So first of all, I have plastic stuff. Some parts from a uh, dollhouse, uh, some parts, you can see Lego and from other games, and you always can paint them and use them as stands. I have jewelry making supplies and caps, a lot of them. They're awesome, you can create many different things with those uh, ant caps. I have bigger ant caps and different shapes and sizes, so it's really good. I have different beads. I'm going to use these beads to create potions or maybe something else. I have bigger metallic parts from old jewelry. Okay, those things, they look very good and stylish. Now, these things I ordered on purpose as soon as I saw it, because I knew I'm going to use them someday. Um, these are beads. You can see they are made in shapes of masks, uh, of wild animals. And I have here skulls, different creepy skulls. And also I have those charms uh, shaped like objects. So here is a bow and an axe, an arrow, I'm going to use them as well. These mm, tiny shells. Glass balls. I found these glass balls inside bottles of room fragments. More beads. Uh, here are just plastic plants. I'm not going to use them as plants uh, because they are too big. Uh, these will be corals. Jewelry, old jewelry that I used once and not anymore. More jewelry. Look at these shiny crystals. Uh, part of a plastic toy. I'm going to cut these dolls and use them as maybe something like voodoo dolls. A spear. More old jewelry and some dry uh, plants. In addition, I'm going to use this doll. I found it in a street. As you can see, she's missing a limb. I'm going to use her hand in my spooky exhibition and her torso. So I'm going to cut her here and here. More things will be books and scrolls. As you can see, I've prepared printed things. You can see here many occult posters and uh, some books with herbarium, book covers many different things. Here I have tarot cards and labels, so some of it may look very good. And of course the last thing will be this cardboard uh, that I will use to create shelves. That's all. If you have any questions I will be glad to answer them in the comment section. Uh, let's go!
this is what I ended up with. Now all the materials are ready. I'm going to start filling the cupboard. Here you can see all the scrolls, the potions, and metallic stuff, all those tools, shells, skulls, and books. Thank you.